Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by to check it out. Today, we've got three really high-end looking farmhouse decor items. Let's jump in. Okay, for our first one, we'll need this window arch, the black frame from the Dollar Tree. Those are both from the Dollar Tree. And then these jumbo popsicle sticks that I picked up at Walmart. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that little middle piece. It comes off super easy. It's just a little piece of cardboard, but you are left with a big glob of glue. So I just heated it up with my blow dryer and then used my scraper and luckily it just popped right off. It came off no problem. So next we're gonna take apart this little frame. Let's remove those clothes pegs and the pictures and then pop the back off. It has those little metal pegs like all the little picture frames do. So we're gonna pop out that back piece. And then I just pulled on those ropes and they just came right out as well. They're just stapled in there. So I just pulled on them and then wiggled it and the staples came right out. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure how big we need these popsicle sticks. So I just put one underneath the back piece of the frame because we're going to be using that. And then just drew a line to see where I had to cut the popsicle sticks. So I'm using my little clippers here. I'm going to trim off the ends. And do the same for all the other popsicle sticks. Okay, next we're going to take this is some antique wax mixed with a little bit of water. I like to do that, it gives it a really good wood stain effect. Um, if you don't have antique wax, you can also use burnt umber or any brown acrylic paint or chalk paint that would work as well. I just water it down a bit, brush it on. And then I'm gonna take a baby wipe and just wipe off the excess. And you can see it looks just like a wood stain. It shows that nice wood grain through it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with all of them. And now our next step is we're gonna take some white glue. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll see I do this technique a lot. I love it. So you just take white glue. This is just dollar store white glue, nothing fancy and just brush it on. Now, it doesn't have to be even. You'd actually, it works better if it's not. So you can put it thick in some spots and thinner in other. So where it's thicker, it will crackle some more. So next we're gonna take chalk paint. This is the Rust-Oleum Serenity Blue. The gray is the aged gray, and then the white is Folk Art Adriandac chalk paint. So we're gonna brush that right over top of the white glue. Now you don't want the glue and the paint to mix. You wanna put the glue just, or sorry, the paint over top of the glue. So, and you wanna put the paint on quite thick because you don't wanna go back over it. You wanna just swipe it on and then let it be. I know you'll see I do go over a couple of spots. It's really tempting to try and make the paint look smooth, but it doesn't matter. When you see the effect at the end, it's gonna look really, there you go. It looks really crackled and nice and chippy. I love it. It looks like it's really old wood. So now we're gonna take them and we're just gonna hot glue them to the back of the frame. Now you could do this with any colors. You could do it pretty much any way you want to personalize it how you like it. So I just glued each of these boards on. I left a tiny little space in between because I wanted it to really, I wanted you to see that it looked like wood planks as the background. While I'm gluing these on, I just wanted to say if you like what you see so far, if you just take a second and hit that thumbs up button, it really helps my channel to grow. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. 
and don't forget that little notification bell so YouTube can notify you the next time I upload a new video. Okay, so now we're gonna just put our frame back together. And there you go. And now I just took the window arch and I just simply gonna hot glue it onto the background. And there it is all finished. I love how this one turned out. I am a sucker for old crackled chippy paint. So I love, just love how this backdrop turned out. Okay, let's go with number two. So number two, I took one of these fresh flower market signs and one of these home frames from Dollar Tree. Now these I picked up at Dollarama. They're just little wooden garden stakes. Basically, they're just a bigger popsicle stick. They're just already cut into the shape of more of a picket fence. So if you're one of my American friends that doesn't have a Dollarama, you could easily just use popsicle sticks and just trim the edges to a point to make it look more like a picket fence. So we're gonna take this frame apart. We're gonna remove the back and take out that middle piece. And then using a scraper, we're just gonna pop that word home off of, off of there. And I'll set that aside for another project. Now I'm gonna just lay out these little pickets to figure out how many we need. So we do need seven across and then we're gonna use one as kind of a cross beam to hold them all together. So you'll see it evens up to be about the same size as the frame. So we're gonna need a cross piece for the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut the very tips off to make them the right length. Now I'm just figuring out how tall I want the front pieces to be. So I want them to go up to about that cross part there. So I'm gonna use my clippers and just cut those, or cut that one, I should say. And then I'm gonna use that one as a guide to keep measuring the rest. So again, we're gonna need seven in the shorter side, the shorter size, I can't talk today, guys, in the shorter size to go along the front. So I'm just gonna trim all of those. Okay, now we've got the front all cut, we're gonna do the sides. So for the sides, we're gonna use three pieces. Um, the best way to describe it is you want kind of a small, medium, and a large piece. <laughs> so you want the tallest piece to match the back and then the one closest to the front to match the front pieces. So then you're just gonna make a middle size piece. So like a medium size that kind of falls in between. You'll see what I mean in a second here. Okay, so you'll have to cut two sets of the side pieces. And then we're gonna take this frame, and if any of you have crafted with one of these frames yet, you'll know that there is a plastic coating over it. So just, I took my sanding block to it quickly and gave, just scruffed it up a bit so the paint would stick. And then all of the cut edges on the little popsicle sticks, I gave those all a quick sand too to make them nice and smooth. Next we're gonna take, this is the antique wax mixed with water again. And we're gonna quickly stain all of the wood pieces. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you all of it and bore you to death because there's a ton of pieces. But just go along. Now with these frames, you have to kind of lay it on thick because it does not like to stick to that wood. Even though I scratched it up, I find that it really takes a long time to dry and to really stick to this frame. So I did lay it on quite thick. And then you will have to do the same for each one of the pickets. Uh, you will have to do the front, the back, and the sides because you will see a lot of it when you put the planter together. So here I'm just getting it all lined up. So you'll need seven for across the, this is the back, the tallest piece, and then the crossbar. So you're gonna have one crossbar at the top, one at the bottom, and I'm just gonna attach those with hot glue. Now 
Next we're gonna do the side pieces. So you'll need your small, medium, large, and then the little cross pieces to hold them together. Now I bumped it up against the back and used my little Dollar Tree square to try and make them as straight as possible. So again, just line it up and then hot glue to put it all together. So you will do that for both sides. And then we're gonna assemble the front. So still using that square to try and keep everything as straight as possible. We're gonna spread out the front pieces. So again, there's seven for the front. So on the front, we're gonna be using that Fresh Flower Market sign and one crossbar to help hold it together. So we're gonna get it all lined up. And then we're gonna rip off that handle hanger off of that sign. It's just stapled on. So if you just tug on it, it just pops right off. Pull out the staple and then we're gonna hot glue that to the front. Okay, so our next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do our top cross pieces on the sides. We wanted them to be even with the front piece so we couldn't do that part until the front piece was together. So just line them up so that they're the same height and then do that for both of the side pieces. Okay, now it's time to put it all together. So we're gonna first put the frame back together, put the inside piece in, but you're gonna have it with the bottom part going up. So that you don't see the part where we ripped the letters off of. Next, using hot glue, we're gonna attach the back panel to the back of the frame. And then we're gonna attach each of the side pieces, obviously with the tallest part of the side piece uh, touching the back of the, of the planter. And do that for both sides. Oh, and see, I put it on the wrong way there. So I'm just fixing that. And there's how it looks so far. And then the front's attached. So you just glue the front on the same way. And there it is all done. And then I just added some of the Dollar Tree lavender. And I think it turned out so cute. Okay, number three. For this one, I found these at Dollarama, but I'm sure my American friends could find them probably anywhere. They're just little garden ornaments, metal gar or garden ornaments with the little stakes that go on the ground. So the rooster was super easy. I just bent that metal piece and it popped right off. Now the pig and the cow were not as easy. They were structured much better. So as you can see, I'm trying to bend and they just would not come apart. So I've sped this up not to torture you. There's my trusty butter knife. Now the cow and the pig were mostly attached to that bottom little piece there where the grass is. So a lot of bending and prying and bending and prying and I finally got him off. So then I did the same for the pig. Got the cow and the pig off. So now I'm going to stack them. So now I'm gonna take my hot glue and my E6000 and I'm gonna attach them all together. So now I know my farm animals aren't perfect proportion and my pig is bigger than my cow and my rooster's huge compared to them, but you get the idea. I really wanted to make a wall hanging that was the stacked farm animals. And then I took it outside and spray painted it in a flat black and look at this. The spray paint really still brought out all the detail in the animals and I just love it. It's, it doesn't really do much justice. You can see the little light switch beside it to see how really big it is, but it's beautiful and it is on the wall of my house. I'm just so happy with how it turned out. So if you're still here, please drop me a little emoji in the comments so I know you stuck around and as always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one.